been doing things that they told me I should never do I've been doing things that they told me I could never do Now, never do, I can never do I've been looking back and I'm the only one who ever knew My dreams been- The crazy thing is I still remember getting my first order ever and remembering how excited I was about one t-shirt, so. And now, I don't even have enough room in the back of my escort. It's kind of crazy when you look back on life, especially when you push so hard and so relentlessly, even when, in the beginning, you get made fun of so much. Like, it's just so funny looking back because, like, you used to let the dumbest things hurt you. And then you look at life now, like when you push so hard for so long, and you're like, you know what? That is so funny. Like, it's just so funny looking back. Like, I remember I made my first t-shirt ever. It wasn't for Loud and Proud. It was when I did Brotherhood Outdoors, like little hunting videos and squirrel hunting and just outdoor style content. And I made my first ever hat and t-shirt, and it was like a deer with a crosshair on it. I totally took it off of Google. It totally wasn't legal, um, but I didn't know at the time I was... 15 or 16 put on a t-shirt I just typed in brotherhood outdoors underneath and I was like oh man I made a logo like I've got a business you know it's so funny and I literally had like eight t-shirts on the shelf and that was my inventory I was like man I'm gonna sell these eight t-shirts eight t-shirts times 25 a piece like I was doing the math I'm like man I'm gonna make I'm gonna make so much money and it was just so cool because like I literally in all innocence thought this is like life is made if I can sell eight t-shirts a week like oh my gosh and I remember it taking me like two weeks just to sell like one t-shirt and thinking this is not easy to do you know what I mean I'm pretty sure the person that bought it like a family member who kind of watched my videos that was from out of town and it was somebody that I didn't know very well at the time and I don't know why I didn't know them well but and I was like oh I sold a t-shirt you know I was so excited bouncing off the walls when you look back and you're like I sold one t-shirt in two weeks and I was trying my hardest to get a sale like it like it sucked I was like I'm never gonna sell a freaking t-shirt like I tried I tried I tried I tried and now I'm at a point where like if we're packing orders eight hours a day it's still not fast enough this is just what got packed yesterday. I want to say a huge thank you to you guys. You guys have changed my life for the better. Wholeheartedly mean that for Reagan and I, for just like our vision, our future, you know, everything just the way we look at life is so much different through what we've done and we couldn't have done what we've done without the support of you guys along the way. And I want you guys to know that we are working our absolute hardest to ship everything as fast as possible. Um, I know there's some people that are messaging me and stuff about you know, having to wait two, two or three weeks right now, and I understand that's annoying, but most orders, that's not the case. Like most orders, we're shipping them out like literally quick. There's certain items that we're running behind that we were supposed to get earlier on in the giveaway that were just for whatever reason taking forever, and so we're just now getting some of those specific items. I don't remember exactly which items they were, but everything's shipping out very, very fluently now, and we're getting all caught up. It's crazy, but it's fun. I wouldn't trade it for anything. I know I've done like a lot of talking in this intro, like way too much, but another thing I wanna mention is we are going to be hosting a truck meet for the first time ever. It's gonna be more like a meet and greet slash truck meet. We've never done one, and I've always kind of thought, you know what, we should just try it. I was actually really blown away by the response. I don't know why I'm so surprised at how many people said they were gonna be at the meet. We mentioned the meet on Instagram and we took a poll on Instagram and we have over 500 people already that have taken the poll and said that they would be going to the meet. So if you wanna come hang out, it's gonna be most of a Saturday afternoon. So it's gonna be like a Saturday afternoon, September 26th, and I think we might have like hot dogs, Pepsis, Cokes, water, stuff like that, uh, maybe a bonfire. So we've gotten access to actually do the meet on a field, and it's actually a grass field, and it's like nine acres of just wide open field. I'm pretty stoked. It's gonna be, I mean, there's a lot of room, so I'm hoping we don't have any issues with like parking. Nine acres should be like more than enough parking, but it just depends on how many people come and how many people bring friends and it's just gonna be nuts. And also, what we're gonna try to do, find out who wins the OBS Ford, so we'll find that out in probably about-ish two weeks. The giveaway ends in like five days, four or five days, but we should have the winner drawn in hand in about two weeks. And then after that, we're gonna try to get the winner to come out to the meet and then basically reveal their truck to them at the meet in front of everybody. That's something to consider. It's gonna be epic. You guys are gonna love it. Let's check out this, this glorious part that was so hard to get a hold of. This one should be the correct part. Moment of truth. 
here's the part. I'm pretty certain this time that it's finally the right one. I'm sure there's parts out there that are a lot harder to get, but I can tell you from my personal experience, I've never had this much difficulty finding a part. And I can't imagine what it's like trying to find parts for the super old stuff, because this truck's really not even that old. Here she be, and looks like we've got a match. That's the one that we need. We're gonna get this all taken apart. We're taking this off, because I don't know why, but this truck did not have this cable or anything going to it. This is exactly how I took it off just like that. Um, it had this little bracket here, had this little holes here and stuff, but there was nothing in it. It was just the four studs coming out and that's it. And once I clean this up, pressure wash it down, it's gonna be in very great shape. Back to another store. I have to get brake fluid for the third gen. So far, so good. We've got the whole hub assembly, pretty much everything back together. We've got this all sealed up and we put thread lock on this as well. New gaskets, new just, I just time lapse through everything just because I don't really like making like tutorial how to videos. It's not really like my thing. I'm not really good at it. So I'm just trying to do pieces of entertainment. And however, what I forgot to get when I was at the hardware store that I'm gonna have to go back and get is a bolt. Because of course, this whole problem took place because a bolt rattled out. And so I'm going to have to go get another bolt to be able to mount this caliper bracket to the back of this thing in the first place. Do not forget that if you want to enter to win this truck right here, you have four days left to enter to win this truck plus $5,000 cash. And then this giveaway will be over on September 9th. And on top of that, every single order is going to get cash in it. We've got all of this mess ready to go. So we've got our parking brake adapter assembly. And what we're going to be doing is mounting up the caliper bracket, the caliper, getting everything squared away, mounted on, getting the brake line fed on there, trying to bleed the brakes and top off the fluid, make sure the brakes are good, and then get the wheel and tire set up, thrown back on there with that 10 lug adapter and get this thing drivable again. See what I had to do? That's painter's tape, a shop towel, and a zip tie. We have band-aids inside. Inside, that's the issue. See, I usually get hurt in the shop. Mm -hmm. Cut myself in one of the brake pieces, and um, it was starting to spray pretty bad, so it was getting messy. So I so like went over mm -hmm. and then like wrapped it in shop towel, and then I put some like painter's tape around it because we don't have any electrical. Just like kept coming off, so then I took a zip tie and just zip tied it to my fingers. I'm going to attempt to take this truck for a drive. If that's a good idea, I don't know. First time using the brakes, going around the corner. It slowed me down so far. <laughs> I mean, worst case scenario, three out of my four brakes, I did not touch. So uh, we'll see. We're gonna get back though, look through and just make sure everything looks fine. 
Well guys, truck drove good, braked pretty good. We're gonna work on it a little bit more in the next video, try to make those brakes a little bit more ideal. Last four days to enter to win this truck. So if you haven't got your entries yet, or you wanna grab some more, right now every $1 is 20 entries. That's a deal we haven't ran the entire giveaway until now, and this giveaway ends on September 9th. That's in just a few days, and then the giveaway is gone. Hit the link in the description or go to lmpgear.com, because this truck, plus $5,000 cash, could be yours. And not only that, every single one of your orders is gonna get random cash in it. Leave a thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe if you haven't done so yet, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.